Hey, what's up, what's up, man? What up, gang? You dig what I'm saying? Hit that like, hit that subscribe button for me. You dig what I'm talking about? We're going to talk about this presidential election, man. It's going down, man. This is a, this is a big fight. This is, it's going down, man. And I want to just, I don't know, man. This, this is, I can honestly say, man, before I get into this, man, hit that like, hit that subscribe button. And um, donate to the cash out, uh, cash tab, billionaire Charlie. All the uh, donation information is right there. Also, come to the description box if you want to come over there to the Patreon and support me over there. We got the merch, books, all of that in the description box, man. You know what I mean? We stay working, we stay grinding. You dig what I'm saying? It's all about the grind. You dig what I'm saying? But anyway, let's get into the presidential election and stuff like that. And um, what is I'm taking from this year and this all the stuff that's been going on? Ah man, it's, it's it's I wasn't even gonna vote, you know what I'm saying? Because I couldn't figure out who I wanted to put my my trust in and who I was respecting to to do great things in America. You know what I'm saying? Half of great things are, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like we all our culture always get the last end of the stick type of situation. You did know what I'm saying? And um, respectfully, man. The way this this has been one of the worst years. This has been one of the worst election uh, situations we have ever seen. And um, I'm just like, I think in majority of people's minds, they believe in, in change at this point. And I think my original opinion was that Trump was going to win with a landslide. That's what I thought originally. You know what I'm saying? When I put my vote in, I was like, Trump going to win. You know what I mean? Even though I wasn't going to ever, ever in life Man, I would have voted for Kanye West before I would have voted for Trump. It's just because of the stuff that he was doing over the years that I, I didn't agree with, 100% didn't agree with. I could never see myself voting for Trump. You know what I mean? Then Biden offended me when he did say that thing on the Charlem with, with Charlemagne. But like I say, I, I, could never, I could never see myself voting for Trump, ever. Like, <laughs> it was ever, 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 ever seeing myself voting for Trump, ever in life. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I said before, when his first, when he first, came out i didn't think he was like that you dig what i'm saying I, I didn't think he was that type of person and then like i say um originally when he first was running for president i thought he was this good guy you know what i'm saying i said man yeah trump can do this and as he began to talk i started to realize he wasn't the guy that i thought he was you know what i'm saying but not to get too much on that a lot of people feeling like like I said, um, if I'm not mistaken, what is his name? Uh, Bernie Sanders or somebody was saying this was what's going to happen. It's going to look like Trump was going to win. And then when the ballots, the mail-in ballot joints come in, the Democrats going to be up heavy. You know what I'm saying? Because the way it's designed, bro, like, I be trying to tell you people, like, this, this, the way they designed it, it was made more for the Democratic Party to win this situation. But like I say, the way things are going, they talking about Nevada and November 12th. I'm like... Trump might still pull it out. You know what I'm saying? I'll tell you, Trump might pull that joint out, man. I feel like because of what's going on, it's like so many schemes and so much going on behind the scenes. I've never seen an election like this ever. This is probably one of the most sloppiest elections I've ever seen. One of the most craziest years I have ever seen. 2020 has been one of them years where I say, man, I can tell my grandkids about it because it's been devastating to me like this very very one of them years where i'm just like you know what i mean like yo it's almost like watching one of them movies and the dude is swimming for the for the for land and he finally get there he's like yes yes he will eat 10 bologna sandwiches for for months and be happy about eating it just because he got the land you know what i mean like it's one of those type of sequences where it's like man i'm just so happy to be on land right now you know what i'm saying it's almost the equivalent of the slaves finally being free and they're like oh my god we free we free it's that it's that type of feeling of this year and just this presidential election thing and everything going on it's just been like whoa it's been whoa whoa for multiple you know what I mean? Like, it's, it, it, the feeling of it has been crazy, man. I have never seen nothing like this before. You know what I'm saying? If you want to say Donald Trump has uh, really shook up the world in ways that I can't even describe, he has, man. He has, man. I, I mean, I don't, I can't even remember a president having the flags flowing around like that and stuff like this. It's, it's taking the, like, Donald Trump flag has took the place of the Confederate flag. I mean, that's powerful. 
in that community. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, if you got a Donald Trump flag, that is the symbol of, is the same stance for the Confederate flag. Like, that's how powerful the Donald Trump flag is at this point. You know what I'm saying? And I know Trump say he not this and he not that, but that's what those guys look at him as. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? It, it, the sad truth is, is being real. You dig what I'm saying? I mean, even Ice Cube has taken a lot of heat. Lil Wayne took a lot of heat. Uh, 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 a little pump that took a lot of heat. I mean, he didn't lost uh, uh, people on his pages and all of that, man. But like I say, this is what I was saying, man. I'm talking to my wife about this this morning, man. It's like, I mean, I have never been in a season where I felt this uncomfortable about a lot of things. It seemed like, and then the things that people are trying to, to persuade you to believe in and stuff like that, it's just, it, it goes against what the other things that has been looked down on. Like I said, when you look at yourself and you look at your skin and you, and you think about the culture that we come from, you got to realize the value of how they treating us. You know what I'm saying? Now, that's what, that's what I get from all of that. You know what I mean? And, and the things that he had been saying in the past and doing in the past and stuff like that when we was dealing with real situations. But like I said, I think they underestimated the, uh, the Hispanic vote. You know what I mean? They, they underestimated that very, very deeply. And I believe more black people came out to vote than before. Like, I, I really believe it was a place. I Like, you got to understand, there's a lot of people that feel some type of way about the things that dude been doing. You know what I'm saying? When you telling somebody to build a wall and keep people loud and certain people from out of... Uh, from um, different countries that can't come in and reunite with their family and stuff like that. So there's a lot of red lines that's in the ground that's not being discussed because people keep using one method to discuss the reason why you're seeing a shift like this. Bro, this has been a very, 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 very rough year. And when you have a year like this, it really put people, like, because people begin to think like, for instance, I can't say what I'm trying to say, but y'all know what's going on right now, right? And people that's been people that's had been unfortunate situations because they end up getting that getting that. You dig what I'm saying? When they got that and do saying it's not real and, and making fun of it and, and and people that once was supporting you are now not gonna support you because that was one of their family members that end up in those predicaments of situations and now they on the ice truck. You dig what I'm saying? I'm speaking, you know what I mean? They now they on the ice truck. You dig what I'm saying? I was telling my wife about this like, see it's 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 the thing where you have to identify the pain and the hurt that people feel when they're going through that. You can't make fun of that. Then you're talking about military people that gave it all for this country and calling them losers. Like, it just, it's it just certain things you just don't do, man. And this, and, and what, I, what we learn and what we know, man, this, it, from me being from Norfolk, Virginia, it's a big military town. Like, an extremely big military town from Norfolk, VA. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So, you know, that's ba we got bases on every corner. You know what I mean? So, for the stuff that he was saying, like, yeah, it was just, it's just not good, man. And like I said, he was winning Virginia first, and then it changed. Like, yeah, I mean, I, like I keep saying before, a lot of a lot of people that's in those warehouses and stuff like that, Detroit and stuff like that, like, I knew he was going to win. I thought, I, I thought for sure he was going to win Texas and uh, Texas, Oregon, but he he ended up losing the place. Some of the places I thought he was gonna win. That was crazy to me because I thought he was gonna win like some of the southern um, states, South Carolina, stuff like that. I knew he was gonna get that Texas. You know what I mean? But like I say, it all it can't. I don't know, man. I don't know. I guess I guess at the end of the day, we're gonna find out the truth, and we're gonna, we're gonna see what's gonna happen from there. But like I, I always say, this man, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What devil do you want to pick, the blue one or the red one? You know what I'm saying? That's I mean that's how they, that's how most people looked at it from that standpoint. You know what I mean? But like I said, I, I feel like more people wanted to to try the blue versus the red because the red had already gave you a demonstration of a lot of things that we wasn't <laughs> ready for. You know what I'm saying? Like we got to be in the house. We had had curfews. Like it was bad, man. That I mean, this year has been one of them years where we sit back and say, man, like we have never experienced something to this core, you know what I mean? But like I said, at the end of the day, man, I wasn't even gonna go out. <laughs> I promise you, when wife, wife came and got me in, I said, right, I'm gonna pick somebody, I guess. You know what I mean? I wasn't gonna do it. I didn't even really, it wasn't in my heart to do it. You know what I mean? I, it wasn't, you know what I mean? Then, then I said, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna hold myself accountable in this predicament. You dig what I'm saying? But like I say, man, I just didn't, 
I really didn't have a connection to either one of the, the, them guys. You know what I'm saying? One guy for sure I didn't have none with that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I can't, I can't do it, man. Every time I see a truck with that flag on it, man, it, it just, it, it's, it's not, it's, it's the same equivalent of being in South Carolina when I used to live out there, seeing them Confederate flags fly down past me in, on them trucks. It was the same equivalent. I promise you it was. You know what I mean? Then you got, you come into the polls. I see the, the, uh, the flags up and these guys are just looking at you in line and like just saying stuff. It's like weird, man. And then you got to hold yourself, uh, calm and relaxed because they saying things that's not supposed to be said. You know what I'm saying? Then when I, you know what I mean? When you get out of character, you know, we don't get, we don't get sympathy. You know what I mean? When them boys, bam, bam, boys pull up. You know what I'm saying? No, come here, man. You know what I'm saying? It's all me. It ain't no, oh yeah, uh, then they pull up old records from me from 20 years ago. Oh yeah, you was a bad guy and this and that. You know how they do. That's how they play it. I can't, I can't just buck up. Oh yeah, what, what? You know what I'm saying? And then some, you know, you know what happens to guys that buck up and that's my color. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, you bucking up. You know what I'm saying? I mean, there ain't gonna be no tasers and all of that. That's the pretty boy. That's that, you know what I'm saying? They don't tase us. <laughs> you know what I mean? They put us down. You know what I mean, we, you know what I mean? We animals. That's how they treat us, right? You know what I mean? That's how I be, bro. You know what I mean? Real route, real street. I mean, I'm just being honest, man. You know what I mean? As soon as I say something or do something, it'll be that. You know what I'm saying? And then them boys coming out. You dig what I'm saying? Let me still be talking, going off. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sir, you better listen now. I ain't got no, no, nothing on me. You gotta listen, sir. You know what I mean? Then, you know what I mean? The, the end of the story at that point. You know what I'm saying? That's why I be saying, don't even get myself into that point mentally because I know the end and I know what, what he gonna come out and say. What I great, you know what I'm saying? What he gonna come out and say after that? Man, they just did their job, man. <laughs> like Shaq did on the thing. They just did their job, man. You was wrong. You shouldn't have said nothing. You know what I mean? You, it's always that you gotta know your place thing with this. You know what I'm saying? That's how they treat us, bro. That, that's factual. Let me have done something and, and bucked up and all of that. Like, it would have been, you got to know your place. You know what I'm saying? We get tired of hearing that. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm a man just like you. You dig what I'm saying? Why I say I don't, I, I can't respect it, but I could never vote for a person like that when I know that's the type of energy that's surrounding the individual. You dig what I'm saying? I can't do that, bro. Like, what, what, what the heck I would look, what, what I look like, man? You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, bro. Now, if he win, it's going to be the same America it always been. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I said, it's going to be the same America, man. You know what I'm saying? Everybody saying it's fraudulent and this and that and this ain't right and that not right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got, at the end of the day, man, I pick who I pick and I could never pick uh, 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 that Trump thing. I can't never do that, man, to my people at all, man. I, I, it would be an abomination, man. <laughs> it be an abomination for me to do something that disheartening and dis disgusting, man. I couldn't do that to my people, man. Respectfully, I couldn't, man. I couldn't go into a, a, a poll and say, you know what, I'm going to vote for a guy after I've seen what happened to these people, man, and he disregarded like it was nothing. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know the stories I'm talking about. We, I ain't got to say their names. Y'all know who I'm talking about. You know what I mean? Oh, they just did their job. No, they didn't just do their job, man. They did some heinous things, man. That wasn't right. It wasn't righteous, bro. You know what I'm saying? That wasn't cool with what these, these individuals were doing. That's because they are part of something blue. You know what I mean? Y'all know what I'm talking about. I'm speaking all. You know what I mean? Y'all know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? That, that wasn't cool, G. You know what I'm saying? I love my queens out there. And I love my, my man of respect and honor out there. You did what I'm saying? Of the core and, and people that's in other... I mean, ethnic groups, you know what I mean? All the all race, I love all race. You know what I'm saying? That's respectfully, I do. You know what I mean? But the, the, the problem of, and, and the thing of the matter is, when they're going to respect us for us, bro? Love us for us and, and then give us that, you know? We, we we seeing people go through these situations. You know what I mean? I see that young lady. What happened to that young lady, you know? And I didn't like it. I didn't like it. You know what I'm saying? And the whole thing with the other situation, we come straight out of the situation, you know what I mean? And, and, and or sitting in the crib all the time and coming to that. And then everybody telling us to calm down when, when things go crazy. You know what I'm saying? It's not righteous, man. No, I can't, I couldn't do it, man. I couldn't, I couldn't even, I couldn't pay myself a million dollars to vote for that guy. You know what I'm saying? I'm just being real, man. I couldn't do it, man. Not, not, not the way he treated my people. Nah, man. No, sir. I, I can't do it, man. <laughs> I can't do it, man. Not the way you treated my our people, man. I can't do it, man. Live and direct to your face, I couldn't do it, man. 
You know what I'm saying? You treat our people really bad, man. Ain't okay with it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Lord, they just did their job, man. They was just doing their job, man. No, man. That's not just doing your job. That's really taking things to the extreme measures, bro. We got to be held accountable for what we doing out here, man. Like I said, being there trying to be just talking, man. Maybe maybe, maybe, maybe I'm not the right person to speak on it, but I couldn't see myself doing that, man. That would have been an abomination, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And red is my favorite color. <laughs> but not the dead, ain't it? <laughs> so it's game. Red my favorite color, but not the dead, ain't it? You know what I'm saying? Straight like that, G. Not the dead, ain't it? You know what I'm saying? Love y'all, man. Peace, God. Peace to all my Muslim brothers and sisters out there. Peace to all my Israelites out there and all my Christian brothers and sisters out there, man. Listen, man. All my gods, man. I love y'all, man. G. I'm out of here, man. Small little chop up. You dig what I'm saying? Like I say, man. Blessings to everybody, man. Get in that description box, man. Come support, man. All the brands and stuff that I got out right now. We out here working, G. Love y'all.